And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with the finale of Let's Play the Seventh Saga. As always, I am joined by Negro, which is short for Necroscope86. If you have not checked out his channel, please do. I will remember to put a link in the description for this finale. And Valsu, Valsu is here as well. We are going to head out and fight Gorsha and finish the game. I know he is to the northeast here. We have gotten all of our runes back. They don't do the same thing that they used to, which kind of sucks, but that's all right. That is something that I am willing to deal with as long as it gets me to finish Gorsha off. Remember, there is no reason to fight things here, really. Um, I'm at a high enough level to finish the game as it is right now. So I'm kind of taking it as Zelda rules. If I don't have to fight it, I'm not going to fight it. And there it is, the final dungeon of the game. Here we go. And it's got the same music as every other thing that we've ever been in. Awesome. Let's see here. Going up and around into... Good lord. Yeah, this place is pretty much a maze, so you're gonna have to find, uh, follow what I do if you want to go through this. I did look this up because I struggled doing this uh, during my practice run. Okay, so talk to the Tetrogen. This is pretty much my original marker here. Yes, uh, it confuses my senses as well. It's not just a robot thing. So we go through the right door. And here we find recovery. It uh, free up some space for that, so that is good. And we're gonna go through the northwest door here. Oh, game. Anyways, as you can see, this this will show up whether or not you pick the right door or not. But now you'll notice that we have entered a new room. We're gonna go through the left door here and here we find a power seed let's go ahead and use that right now there's no reason not to look oh it's so pretty all those runes are back where the hell is that seed come on there we go use on necro oh sweet i got four anyways awesome let's talk to the tetrogen outside here what is up dude Sweet, so he lets you know when you've done a good job, but I already know that I did, and I want to go through the southeast door here, going up around, and since that technician is gone, we know we are on the third floor, well I know we're on the third floor, here we're going on the left door once again, and here we get an emerald. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's an emerald. Uh, don't know why they gave that to you here. This is the final dungeon of the game. Money is pretty much useless now, unless somehow I die. Okay, let's talk to this Tetrogen up here. Does he say? Fair enough. So we're going to go through the southwestern corner here. And if I have chosen correctly... Hmm... I believe it's the left door. No, it was the right door. I chose the wrong one. Here we go. Okay, let me stop right here. I need to suck myself up for this. Okay, are you ready, Valsu? All right, we're gonna find off this evil guy. Remember all those horrible things he's done. What has he done, Necro? Shut up, that's not important. He's the evil guy. He took away our runes. So we're gonna go get him. Give me just one second off screen. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I need to... Oh, man, that was tough. Anyways, what I need to do is psych myself up. Remember how he destroyed Melanum? That was us, Necro. Shut up, you. Oh, man, I hate you. Okay, here we go. What? I didn't really have a choice. You kind of sent me here, dude. What? 
I thought you sent me to the Dark Well. I thought I was here. Whatever. Boss time. And this time, it is Gorsha. For real. As you can plainly see here. So, yes, what we need to do immediately, before we start using the runes, we will need to use all of them. What I want to do first is get where... There it is. Be Protect on Necro. Pretty much, I want to stop all the... <laughs> that is why right there. Good lord. Okay, so we're going to need to use heal 3 immediately on Necro. Because Gorsha is insane early on. Uh, you drop another... Where is it? Be Protect. Because Valsu's kind of busy healing everybody, and that's pretty much what he's going to be doing for a good portion of this game. Or this boss fight here. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's throw down the wizard rune. So we can, oh, good lord. Oh, Trogdor arm! Okay, uh, what do I want to do now? You know what, let's, let's use some of those potions. I've got so many of them, I've still got seven on Valsu. You know, there's no reason to keep them. Like I said, this is the final battle. Oh, Trogdor arm! Um, yes, I do have enough for another heal three. Okay, so we're all set there. What do I want to do now? Let's go for the light room. If you remember right, this was for magic. Yeah, you can't really see what it did there, but trust me, it did something. Then we want to do the sky room. And that pretty much is going to limit him to just using physical attacks, which is what we want. Oh no, it doesn't! Lies! Uh, let's just do a potion 2 for now, Necro. Cool? We cool? Yeah, we cool. Alright, what, what's next on my list here? I want to throw down the moon rune. There's that moon rune. That cuts his attack power in half, which is what he's pretty much been hitting us with this entire time. And uh, he does have uh, mirrors and vac or uh, petrifies in vacuum, so you're gonna want to equip on harps and mirrors when you get the chance. What else is left? Wind rune, knock down his agility, and then star rune, knock down his defense. Oh good lord. Okay. Okay, I can I, I can deal with that. Potion three on Necro. Need to heal up first and foremost. And then you an elixir yourself and pretty much make this an easy boss fight. It's pretty easy all by itself though, it's not all that difficult. 88 damage, that's not too bad. And Water Rune is last on my list. Uh, if you remember, I kind of jokingly said that it was pretty much useless because it didn't give a very vague description. So let's find out what that does. Boom. Cuts his HP in half. I did not expect that. It's done. It cuts his power in half. That means nothing to me. But you say it knocks his HP in half. Suddenly we're talking some serious business here. Alright, nothing too difficult now. It's just a matter of time. Gotta whittle them down. Once again, using the elixir trick. I, I, I mean, is it even a trick? I mean, it's pretty much built into the game, isn't it? What do I know? 85, that's nothing. Defend. That is definitely something, though. Alright, so you're going to need to heal three. Uh, Necro. Get him back up so I can take... You know, I'm looking at him now. He kind of looks like... Um, well, the chains remind me of... Oh, muscly arms. Uh, there is going to be a point where he runs out of MP. I do know that. 
You know, let's go ahead and throw the elixir down now. Before I need it. He, is, he does run out of MP fairly quickly in this battle, so uh, once he starts using that little Trogdor arm attack the entire time, that's when you know he's out of MP. He's just going to be sticking with, the with that for the rest of the game, and that looks like we've hit that point. Now let's throw down some agilities while I have the time here. I've used all the runes. Look, it instantly pays off for Necro. Doesn't pay off for Valsu, but that's fine. We'll get to him. We'll get there. You know, as long as I keep my MP above 120, I should be fine. And what's this? Harp. Uh, vacuum that a harp will prevent, but it didn't work anyways. Alright, let's go for the agility. And this should pretty much do it. We are set. And now it's just a battle of attrition. And I'm going to win it, baby. Oh, you can heal yourself? The final boss can heal himself. How cheap is that? Come on, game. You know the rules of RPGs. Bosses should not be able to heal themselves. Especially the final boss. Not that it mattered all that much because it was only 90, it was only a heal 2, and of course Necro can do 300 damage at a time. Go ahead, got plenty of mirrors. You can't seem to hit it anyways. And oh, a muscular arm of death and chains and. Oh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the chain reminds me of a an Aeon from Final Fantasy X. I can't remember the name of it, but you know which one I'm talking about. One damage. Thanks. Thanks, Fossey. Seymour's Aeon. Um, I don't even remember if you could actually get that without cheating in Final Fantasy X. Oh, it's been so long since I played that game. Give me one damage. Thank you. And this should do it. Bye bye, Gorsha. Slow dissolve like a boss. What the hell? I slow dissolve too. Me? No! What? Well, at least Falsu's still alive. He can revive me. You'll be back? What? No, seriously, Falsu just gets to stay there? What? <laughs> That that's that's weird. We got peaceful music. I, I believe this is Sarah talking. I did save the people of this world. It wasn't easy either. Sweet. Valsu is gonna revive me. What? Are you coming on to me? This is just kind of weird. Okay. Oh, I'm a blue dot. Sweet. The sages is up. How extraordinary. Child is appearing in the light. Sorrow is sending his child to us. Shall name Lemiel. What? 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 Oh, you better not be rolling credits on me. What are you doing? That's the ending? Okay, wow, that is the, the seventh saga. That's the game. Um, I've had quite a bit of fun playing this game, I, I must admit. I did not think I would. It is a very difficult game, and I usually don't like difficult games like this. They, this is a game that does expect you to die, and die often. That's why I ended up with so much money at the end of the game. 
that because I, I, I just refused, I, I, I am not going to die. So I ended up with so much money, but the game does expect you to die. The, 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 the difficulty on this game is up there, especially for a game at its time. I had to look it up because I wanted to give it a score, right? I wanted to give it two scores. I want to give it a, a retro score for what it was at the time, how good of a game it was at the time, and a game that it is now, how it is to play now. So I looked up some similar games that were released at the same time. This was released, I believe, the same year as uh, Zelda Link to the Past, Secret of Mana, and between uh, Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3 when they were released in America. As Of course, those are now known as 4 and 6, respectively. So in terms of graphics, this, this game's pretty low on the list. It's not great graphics-wise. In terms of music, I don't know. I like some of the music, but some of the other music just started to drive me nuts. There's Necro! His name is actually Wilm. Um, W-I-L-M-E, I believe. So, um, I've been calling him Necro this entire time because this has been a tribute to Necroscope86. Once again, check out his channel. He is back. Uh, I started this Let's Play knowing that uh, he had actually deleted his account. He goes over that a couple times on his channel now. But love the guy. Cannot stress enough that without him, I probably wouldn't have done this. Um, I wouldn't have started doing Let's Plays. Anyways, back to the reviews. Um, the plot was pretty much not there. Let's be honest, um, there was not that much of a plot to deal with. So, but, but in terms of what it is compared to other games of the time, I don't know. You, like I said, you know, Secret of Mana came out at the same time. This is between Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy VI. So, there were definitely stories out there to be told that just weren't being told in this game in terms of replay value this if you're up for a challenge i would i would i would definitely recommend this game if you wanted to play it again with maybe a different character that you know seven starting characters gives you seven different ways to play the game at minimum if you add in all the different apprentices that you can get that adds up to uh 49 different combinations you can of course solo try to solo it with every single apprentice i would not recommend that for the faint of heart so in terms of a retro score i'm gonna give this an eight you know it was a good game it wasn't great it wasn't something that i i, I thought would stand out among amongst all the other games of the time. But in terms of what I would rate it now, I'd give it about a six, you know? It, it just doesn't hold up as well as some of the other games. The battle mechanics, I thought, even though it was intense every time I got into a battle, you know, I felt like I was, I, I felt like I could die at any moment. I, but that was because I could die at any moment because of some of the balance issues uh, the agility was more of a of a player in this battle mechanic than it was in other games. It pretty much you relied on being able to dodge a lot more than you do in other games. Pretty much a dodge in other games is just a bonus, but in this part, in this game, it seems to be part of the battle mechanic and and how well you're doing level wise. But yeah, it's a pretty good game overall. If you're looking for an RPG that maybe you haven't seen before, I would recommend it if you are looking for a challenge. And it looks like this is as far as the screen will take me. So this has been the Seventh Saga. I hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play. I hope you laughed at least once. Just, just once would be good for me. I hope you learned. And I hope to see you guys next time. As I mentioned before, I will be playing Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars next. I should be getting that first video up shortly. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do this yet, but I will have an introduction video before I start getting into the LP to explain how it's going to be done from then on. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.